And the event is designed to build awareness in the community about the important issues uh, around women's poverty and homelessness. An issue that's not only a problem in Hamilton, but across the country. This issue is very serious. One in four women in Canada is going to be a survivor of violence. And we know in Hamilton um, that we have large numbers of women leaving shelters, have nowhere to live. And these are the kind of services that we need to support in our community. By slipping on these shoes and walking a mile, this Ancaster hockey team is supporting the traditional living program at the YWCA. Uh, it's pretty good that they're doing this, I think. It's helpful. And it's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's great to see. You know, when we proposed this uh, three or four weeks ago, it was kind of intimidating. And, you know, to, uh, to get a bunch of 13, 14-year-old kids out like this is uh, pretty encouraging. This is the third annual Walk a Mile in Her Shoes event. 150 men are expected to slip on some high heels like these babies. And go for a stroll. That's not bad. I'm getting used to it. I'm just afraid of stairs and cracks in the road. This is to show that there's a cross-section support of all demographics in Hamilton who are opposed to the notion of violence against women. And it's only going to stop when we all stand up. And if we have to stand up wearing these things to make a point, then that's what we're going to do. Led by local celebs Lisa Hafner and Andrew Garrier, the crowd proudly strutted their stuff in heels up James Street North. Members of Hamilton's police and fire departments showed off their legs as well. Uh, feels a little shaky, but uh, I'll get used to them. Adam Atkins, CHCH News.